Hey everyone, Kevin here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, in this rough job search and overall layoff climate, we've all seen the postings that are clearly seeking unicorns. In the ID world, this is when they ask you to have 10 years of project management experience, know every authoring tool created by humanity, be an LMS expert, and also be able to work for ever decreasing amounts of money. And you know what? Companies can't do this right now because it's not a job seekers market. It's a hiring market. Whenever these come around, the unicorn postings become more and more prevalent because they not only want to save money by hiring just one person who can do everything, but also because this makes their life easier for onboarding and the like. But you know the problem with this mentality? Well, actually, there are two specific issues with this mentality. Number one, there's only so many unicorns out there that fill what they're looking for. You want an ID who is a master graphic designer, video editor, and has a PMP certificate? Well, good luck finding that person. And when you do, they're going to demand a certain salary that often your job can't provide. And number two, you're really limiting your hiring pool and neglecting other people who might be phenomenal matches for what your company needs, but just doesn't quite have the exact experience you're looking for. Now, I'm not saying that people don't apply for jobs that are looking for unicorns and get hired anyway. It obviously happens all the time, but it becomes harder to do that as time goes on. And this leads me to the main point I want to talk about today. I want companies, hiring managers, and recruiters to realize they shouldn't be looking for unicorns. You should be looking for workhorses. You aren't trying to win a short horse race with the best Arabian or thoroughbred, but rather looking for the best horse to go long distances and carry the things you need to survive and make a difference to a wider group of people, just like they did along the trails of the American West. Someone who is able to work very hard, learn what you need, and be a great representative of your brand has far more mileage and can go the distance for longer than a unicorn. Workhorses may not get as much glory or attention that unicorns do, but they make more of a difference than we give them credit for. I mean, janitors are workhorses that make it possible for theme parks to stay clean and welcoming, but don't get much of the credit. The backstage staff at a theater performance that helps create beautiful plays aren't always seen by the audience, but are nonetheless vital. And instructional designers who are willing to spend an entire week removing sighs and heavy breathing from company videos don't get as much notice as those who create beautiful graphics and job aids from scratch using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. I'm not saying any of these people are always forgotten about or ignored. I'm saying that they're all hard workers who shouldn't be overlooked just because you want someone with this unrealistic, perfect combination of skills and personalities. The pursuit of people like that is one of the main reasons why you see the same jobs get reposted every single week. Yet everyone who applies gets the constant rejection notices saying that we are choosing a candidate who more closely aligns with the position. It's frustrating and leads to more recruiting paralysis where jobs don't get filled and overworked employees who were relying on that role to be filled end up leaving as a result. My advice is to look for people who have the right combination of skills, yes, but which are balanced with a great attitude and belief in your company's vision or work, willingness to learn and develop, and who are a culture fit. That may sound like a unicorn at first glance, but all I just did was name someone who is a workhorse. They have some of the skills you want and want to grow. They want to be a good employee who produces results and who believes in your company values. Most importantly of all, too, unicorns don't often stay at your company long term. They get sniped by other companies looking for the same kind of people who will pay them more or negotiate for something else they want. They have interests that can lead them to being bored more quickly and then end up changing role more often for that reason. People who are willing to put in a good day's work, do it well, and grow cannot be overlooked in the pursuit of a person that may or may not even exist. Give the workhorses and pack mules a chance. We've got a lot to offer. Trust me. Well, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.